Hey, what's up there, YouTube? How you doing? Uh, just saw that uh, truck drivers are starting to get uh, into the standing up against the tyranny in here in this country. Uh, there's a group of them starting to say they're not going to deliver to New York, and they're calling other truck drivers. And I think they're going to make a difference here. Uh, the next thing is, is over in in uh, Europe, they've already done this kind of stuff, and they've roadblocked. They shut down the highways and everything else. But you see, don't hurt yourselves. Go and block in. You go take your trucks right into Martha's Vineyards, all eighteen wheels of it. You know, eighteen wheelers, and just sitting there honking your horn right in the middle of Martha's Vineyard, where the money is, and in Washington D.C. And just fucking revving your thing up all night long. That's what you got to do. You got to hit them where it hurts. You got to get in their ear and in their face. Because they have no problem doing that to us. They're trying to push the sh their agenda at us at top speed now. And uh, you got to hit them twice as hard. They hit you with a left hook. You got to mash their fucking head and with the, uh, you know, cinder block. <laughs> Maybe that's a little over the top. But you see what I'm saying? Don't fucking be a punching bag for these assholes because that's exactly what's going on here is they're seeing what they can get away with. Okay, you're going to harass me? All right. You got a family too, don't you? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Right back at you, asshole. You're going to try to put the fucking shits and the scares on, into everybody? Nah, we're done with that shit. You start coming after us, you're going to get hit twice as hard every fucking time. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. You know, it's what it is, dude. You won't let us live in peace. You're in here trying to force garbage on us that we don't want. Simple and plain. You're, you you, people are tyrants. And you know who I'm talking to and everybody else does too. I don't have to drop names. And anything I said was talk, okay? Now, however, if they're going to do shit like they keep talking about and they're going to try to take your freedom and take your ability to protect your family, you know, go after the guns, go after this, go, go after your rights. Meanwhile, they're letting people in here unvetted that could be full of diseases, uh, could be uh, MS-13 criminals. They don't give a shit, but they want you to take them into your home. Here's the deal. We'll let them, we'll let them in, in the house. How about the White House? They can go live in that fucking place Biden's uh uh, at right now. See what I'm saying? All of a sudden, <clears throat> when you put it in those terms, they don't like it, you know? But meanwhile, they're trying to horrify everybody about all the shit that they're going to do and <clears throat> get everybody all, you know, discombobulated. Well, you know what? Fuck you. There's a point when you hit the wall and say, no, nah, we, don't, we don't have any more room to back up. So now you're going to get, you know, what's coming. You can't keep pushing people and not expect people to fucking go. That's right where I drew, drew the line and you just crossed it. Enough's enough. People are going to get fucking steaming hot, pissed off. And uh, all I'm saying is that's uh, they're leaving us no choice. They're leaving us zero fucking choice. They're trying to start a civil war. They're trying to get some conflict going in here so they can bring in the blue hats from the U.N. And... <clears throat> Then they'll get, like, uh, other organizations in on it. And, the, you know, all of a sudden, they'll turn the tables and try to make us look like the bad guys. And all we're trying to do is live our life. They're trying to tell you how, <clears throat> you know, you can't do that. You're, you're polluting the ozone and this and that. But meanwhile, they don't do nothing about China. China's over there dumping poison into the air and, and into the sea and into everywhere else. <clears throat> but you got it, people over here. You know, drinking out of wooden straws because a plastic straw might kill a dolphin or something. Yeah, well, well, here's here's a novel idea. Don't fucking put the trash in the ocean, assholes. Okay? Unbelievable. <clears throat> worrying about all that shit. And, you know, they're worrying about plastic bags. You know, at the store I go to uh, down the street from me, Walmart, right? Which I ought to fucking boycott. Anyway, they, they don't want to sell you a plastic bag uh, saving for the environment. That's a bunch of shit because that bag costs them a penny or whatever, and they don't even want to come off that penny. You're buying 
$400 worth of groceries, or, or maybe not that, but a shit ton of money, and uh, you're supposed to carry it out of there, like in your <laughs> in your pockets, underneath your hat, what the fuck, you know, give me a bag, asshole, and don't make me pay for it, Be, because they're, they're worried about the environment, for crying out loud, don't you give a shit about the environment, yeah, so give me a fucking bag anyway, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, while we're on that whole bag subject, uh, why don't you put one over your head and see how that does you? you know? uh, see if we can get some uh, CO2 going in there for you. Uh, anyway, like, they're worried about the plastic bags, plastic straws. Meanwhile, there's 40 million plastic bottles melting into the into the salt water of the sea and breaking down. So now we're all drinking water that's got microplastics in it. So anyway, um, these assholes made all that. But here's the deal. The plastic bottles, I got the solution for that. It's called glass. Glass fucking bottles, you assholes. We had them back when I was a kid. It's made out of sand. It goes back into sand. What, what the hell? Where's the fucking big mystery in that? What? You know, it's unbelievable. Oh, well, it might take more carbon to... Because you got to melt the glass and the sand and all... Fuck you. No matter what you do, you're going to have some kind of byproduct, some carbon or something. you, you got to get real. Yeah? You know? But anyway, I jumped off of what I was talking about. we got to stop taking bullshit from these these elites, these so-called elites. They're nothing. They're, they're worms. All right? So anyway, i got to get going. Have a good one, YouTube.